What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video where we look at the best players for all budgets. Today we're taking a look at the best attack and midfielders for all budgets. So starting with the range of 0 to 5,000 GP, working our way up to 300,000 plus with Kevin De Bruyne. And as you can see there, Bruno is going to feature as well. So yeah, hope you enjoy this one. Let's start with the budget option of Jadson. So this guy is a Brazilian attacker midfielder, classic number 10. He's got really nice player skills. He's got low pass, lofted pass in the mid 70s or low 70s, ball control, set piece taken, curl. Again, if you're looking for an option that's really cheap that you just want to have on the bench, you can turn this guy into a quite a decent attacking midfielder that will outperform a lot of the other players. He's 38 years of age as well, so he won't suit a young team or a young manager. He won't get that boost. But he will be able to suit a veteran team. And I think that he's got unwavering form as well. So his player rating and his form arrows will be more than likely up uh, often enough. So that he's definitely worth a punt. For 4,100 GP, you can nearly find that down the back of the couch. So he's definitely worth a punt. Next up, we've got Moreno. Now this guy, this guy caught my eye when I was playing the MLS Challenge or the American League Challenge. So... I went in and I had a look at his stats. I went to training mode and I had a look at how he performed. Look at the amount of player skills this guy has, man. He's got so many good player skills for a player that's under 10,000 GP. Now, if you're looking at his overall rating here and you're thinking, wow, I could really upgrade this guy and have him as a left winger or a right winger. He can play center mid as well. You could put his speed, acceleration, tight possession and dribbling and ball control up to like mid 80s with very little training, if you pump everything into that. He's not going to be a finisher, but just an outright attacking midfielder would be the job here. Now we've got Richard Harty's cousin from Portugal, Ricardo Harta. This guy, again, is a bit more of an expensive option, 39,000 GP. He's uh, He's got really nice stats. His speed lets him down a little bit. I would say that's the only thing. But comparing him to players in that similar price range, I've left out a couple of big notable names, but this guy outperforms them all. And again, you can boost him up. You can boost his speed and acceleration up. If it was me, I would probably play him as a really, you know, deep sitting kind of creative playmaker in the hole type player. Um, but he can play. He has got that position style as well that he can play left, left sided of the pitch or right sided of the pitch. If you're looking for a player similarly priced, but you're looking for a bit more of a, I would say a speedy attack a midfielder that can break down the lines through runs you you do probably want to have a look at this guy Golovin who plays for AS Monaco so he's 39,000 GP is the same price I think he's well worth a mention because he kind of mixes it up that you won't need to train him as much because he already has a bit you know a bit better stats than Harta but his base is kind of different and again the reason why I included him is because he has unwavering form and he's got so many player skills as well. So he is a really good option. You know, any player that's under 40,000, you do have to look at their stats if you're going to spend that money because he usually is a substitute or a bench player. Now, my pick of the video, I would say, if you're looking for just a kind of a guy that you, a project, if you want to just develop a player and put him up that his stats will be able to compete with some of the best attacking midfielders in the game, or wingers if you want to turn him into a winger, but you know, for a fraction of the price, 58,000 GP, right? If you train Musiala up, he's already got 79 acceleration. You don't even need to really touch that. I would put his stats into uh, dribbling, tight possession, and speed. There's where I would boost up. You can turn this guy into an absolute beast. His passing and his player ID is ridiculous. He's like a cheaper version of Pedri, the closest to Pedri that you can get for half the price. Next up, we've got Zaniolo. Now, I know Sepp is a big fan of this guy. I've seen him on his stream. He's 22 years of age. He's got, you know, a lot of player skills, track back, fighting spirit, heel trick, um, I think he's got one touch pass as well. I can see there. He's got a lot of those stats. Now his speed is quite good. His acceleration is quite good. His stamina is quite good. I think the only thing that lets him down is his low passing. If you're going to be playing him as an out and out kind of in the hole player. Now he does have that player ID as a whole player, but I definitely would be improving his passing just a fraction to get it up to maybe about 80 and his ball control up to about 80 as well. And then whatever else you decide to choose to do with him is up to you. But for 96k, he's an absolute unit. If you are going to be spending 96,000 though, I do probably advise you maybe looking at Bruno Fernandes. So 110,000 GP, he is you know, a really good player. He can shoot as well as everything else. So that's probably the one advantage that he has over anyone else we've mentioned. And he's only a couple of thousand more if you wanted to grind out a couple of more events or whatever you want to do. Hopefully we get more GP as time goes on. Really good stats. If you get his featured edition, he obviously 
upends all his stats here but this base player of bruno fernandez once you once you boost up his speed and acceleration he's an all-round attacking midfielder that is just perfect for any play style he's a really really good option to have now if you are the monty burns of eFootball uh dream team you could splash the cash on the best attacking midfielder in the game by rating and by price Two hundred and eighty thousand gp look at the stats here man i mean again he's faster than bruno he's double the price obviously more than double the price but this guy is already made attacking midfielder for end game teams like if you have a god squad and you're looking should i spend the money here for two hundred and eighty thousand, you can play kevin de bruyne as your architect in midfield he's got serious stats boost up his speed a little bit boost up his dribbling boost up his tight possession and you will have one of the best players in the game for under three hundred thousand. i definitely recommend him so yeah, lads, that is it for another episode for the best budget attacking midfielders all the way up to the best superstar attacking midfielders. Let me know in the comments below who you guys are using, if you're using any of these, how you're getting on with them, and I will be back soon with another video. Peace.